Okay, well, here we have uh, a line drawing of a rose. Um, it's not a um, complete rose because I just want to show how to shade, uh, well, how I uh, go about shading the petals of a rose. So the first thing to do to shade uh, the petals, you want to first find out where your light source is coming from. So in this case, the light source is coming this way. So the light is going to hit the rose at this point. So basically, anything under here is going to be dark. And then it's going to get lighter as we go around here. And I'm going to show you how that's done. At least how I do it. So what I'm going to do is take a mechanical pencil. Um, this has an HB lead. Um, you can use 2B, um, but I like uh, HB because it's a nice, even, dark tone, and you can go as dark or as light as you want. So I like an HB uh, lead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline uh, dark just underneath or at the edge of the petal here, like this. Gonna shade this in. Like this. Okay. And then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a tertillion like this. I'm just gonna smooth out this tone. Try to give it a more natural look. And then as I'm doing that, I'm going to bring that out like this as I'm going to drag the darker tone right down. Like this. So I start at the darker edge, the darker tone, and I drag it down. Okay, like that, and I even try to pull it down even further down more into the petal. Okay, like that, and as you see, it should give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And I'm going to actually smooth this out a little more, very lightly. I'm just going over this edge because I do have an outline here that I want to hide and to do that I'm just going to go ahead and put some tone down here like that very smooth and then I'm going to take my deutillion again and blend that out bring that down some more. And as you can see, I'm basically just drawing with the tortillion. I'm just starting at the darker tone, going down into a mid-tone, and going down to a light tone. So remember the light is going to be hitting on this side, so we want this edge to be a little lighter. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here. And naturally, as I wear down the graphite that's on the deutillion, it automatically gets lighter. So you do get a smooth tonal transition, which is what we want. Just bring this out. Okay. And then up here, if you want the top of the pedal, if you want to add some tone, you can. And again, I'm not really using any graphite. 
except what's on the deuterium. And I'm just going to use that to just shade this in. Okay, and remember again, the light is this way, so this very edge here is going to be actually um, virtually white, so you can use the white of the paper. I always like to listen to music when I'm drawing, so right now I'm actually listening to uh, Lithium from Evanescence. I love Evanescence. I think they're an awesome band. Um, Amy Lee is an awesome singer in my book. I just love her. Um, I'm actually planning on doing a portrait of her and hopefully actually sending it to her. So as you can see, the petal of the rose is actually coming to life. At least this should look that way. So what I'm doing is basically we start dark and drag the graphite down onto the petal and we get lighter as the light source hits the petal. And if you want we can go back to graphite pencil and we can actually darken the edge here if you want. actually darken the edge because what that's going to do is that's going to start the shadow on the next petal here so you sort of want to drag that out and basically it's the same process okay if you want along this edge you can actually go dark to, to give the illusion of a shadow because the petals should be overlapping so you can actually go dark here and then take your tutelian again and just blend it out now if you don't have a tutelian that's actually okay what you can use is a q-tip or a um, tissue as you can see it gives the form of, of that it's overlapping or um, you can actually go to uh, Target in the automotive section there's um, a piece of leather like this uh, this is a, a chamois most people use this to um, when they wash their cars they actually use this to dry the car off to um, so they don't get streaks, but I, it's perfect for actually blending. You get a really smooth blend. As you can see, I use it a lot. Um, it's pretty covered in graphite, but that's okay. That's actually what I want because um, it's well weathered. And to, to use this, you just basically lightly go over it, go over the area. And as you can see, you really get a smooth blend, giving it an ultra, ultra realism look. You can go up here. You know, that's actually exactly what I'm looking for. That's perfect. As you can see, you really get a smooth, smooth um, blend. You know, you have your dark tones, your lighter tones, and then as you get down towards the light source where this light is hitting it, you go lighter and you get a nice smooth tone. And um, that's basically it. That's how you would go ahead and shade a flower petal. So I hope this is helpful and um, there will be more to come soon. Thanks.